<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and today I'm going to be showing you all how you can back up and install games using no NPDRM. This is going to be for all PlayStation Vita systems, so this is going to also assume that you have your system modified using Hinkaku or H Encore or Enzo. Well, Enzo would still need one of those two to piggyback off of. But as you can see, mine is a system on 3.65. I have H Encore installed and I have Enzo installed as well. So this is going to assume that you already have all of that done. You have the basic understanding of how all of this works. And I'm going to briefly go over putting in the plugin and everything, but I've gone over this as well too in my video showing how to initially set up and install H Encore on your system. So this is going to assume that you have all of that there. So in short, what is no NPDRM? No NPDRM is a plugin that was created by the flow that essentially allows you to take any games, any downloadable content, any updates that you have either on a cartridge or installed digitally on your system and dump them. And then you are able to utilize them as long as you have the no NPDRM plugin and use that to also create a fake license for it. So for example, if you want to back up a digital game, what you would do is you would run the game one time with no NPDRM enabled and then get the license that is generated from that plugin and pair it up with your game and you'll have a proper dump of that game that you can keep for backup purposes just in case you want to put it on another Vita or let's say this gets wiped you have to put it back on here whatever it is uh, in this example for today I'm going to be taking a physical game cartridge that I have and I'm going to be showing you all myself dumping that getting the fake license for it and then essentially repacking it all and getting it installed on the system so I'll be able to play my cartridge based game without the cartridge. So over here on the PC, I am going to have two links for no NPDRM down below in the description. The first one is going to be right here to the main no NPDRM page. And the reason why I want to link this is because there is a excellent write up here created by the flow that shows all the features, what the software does, what it does not, and how to generate everything. So I'm actually going to be following parts of this to dump the game. However, if you have questions on DLC updates, uh, if there's maybe something digital that I don't cover 100%, uh, then you can go ahead and check out this link. As for the actual download, what you can do is check the other link or go to releases here, and you will need this no NPDRM SKPRX file, and you're going to have to transfer that over to your Thai folder on your PS Vita. On your Vita, I'll show you what you will need to do here. So. Mine has already been set up, but you would need to go into Vita Shell, make sure everything is transferred over, and within right here, I will show you, within UR0, there's going to be a tie folder, and inside of that, you're going to have to put your no NP DRM .skprx. You have to put that plugin in there. And then you also have to assign it within your config.txt. As you can see, mine is set up right here, so you'd have to put it under kernel. So put the address there and make sure it's pointed to that plugin and it must be a kernel plugin. Now if you have this all set up right now as is, if you're just setting up, make sure you run H Encore again. I'd recommend restart your system, run H Encore again, or if you're on v Enzo, just restart your system. But make sure you have everything there. On top of that, if you followed a previous tutorial I had for Storage Manager, this one's a little bit tricky because I actually had SD2 Vita set up on here and I have commented out storage manager so that way I can use my game cartridge. So, so you might just have to think accordingly on that if you're going to be dumping a physical game cartridge. For this, I'm not dumping a digital game. I'm just going to be dumping the physical game. But if you're dumping a digital game, it should be easier where you don't really have to mess with the SD2 Vita stuff. I did have to disable that. So... Now that we have this up and running, you will have to, again, if you just put it in place, make sure you restart your system, make sure you re-exploit it, and let's go ahead and get started on dumping a game. So first off, what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to take out my SD to Vita from my console, and I'm going to be putting in the game that I want to dump. So just wait a few seconds, it should pop up here. There we go. 
and the physical game cartridge I'm picking is Undertale. So as you can see, it's initialized, it's good to go. If you have never run the game with no NPDRM enabled, you must run it one time. So again, because I just popped this game in, I'm going to boot it up, and let's wait about a minute or so. So there we go, it's started, we're good to go on this, we're really not trying to play the game right now, I just wanted to initialize it. So once it has been booted, go ahead exit out the game, and now at this point let's go ahead work on our transfer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the game cartridge in there right now. If you have a digital title, you don't have to worry about deleting it or anything, just make, make sure you boot it up one time with the plugin enabled. And now let's go to Vita Shell and work on transferring the game over. When you're in Vita Shell, press the start button and pick what you're wanting to do. So mainly for this here, uh, you can first select if you want to do FTP or USB. Uh, or here for USB device, you can also choose what exactly you're wanting to dump. So I'm going to do everything over FTP just because that's what we've been doing for uh, all the rest of these tutorials. So one nice thing is if you want to, you could go through USB and select the game card. I'm just going to do everything through FTP here. I'm going to exit out of that. Let me come back here all the way to the root. As you can see this right here, this GRO0, this is the actual game cartridge. So what you need to do is press the select button if you're going to be doing this over FTP. And now keep this open, go over to your PC, and I'm going to be using WinSCP to dump all the things we need for this game. So right here, I have connected to my Vita on the right side of my screen. I have everything from the Vita on the left side. I have a folder I've selected on my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and just create a new directory here. I'll call it Undertale, and I'll just be working within that. So first of all, let's get the license because that's small and that's easy to obtain. So to get the license, you need to go into UX0, no NPDRM, license, and here's the thing, depending on what you're doing here, you need to look for either app or additional content or add content. That's what the other one would be. Your add content would be your DLC or anything else, but for the main application, it would be app and check it out. We have it right here. So I'm just going to download this entire file. And this is the title exe. And if you look inside of here, we now have this riff file. And that right there is the license that has been generated for Undertale. So I'm going to keep that on hand. Now I need to dump the actual game itself. Now I'll quickly go over this here. What you'll need to do if you have a digital title, you will need to go to UX0 app, and you will need to pick the title here that is installed that is matching. So for example, if my Undertale is digital, I would look for this same folder name right here, and you would just download that. So you're going to download the entire title over to your computer or transfer it over somehow. However, because mine is a cartridge, I'm going to go up, go up again, and go to Grow Zero. And right here, as you can see, there is a app. You can go inside of that. And actually, I'm just going to transfer the entire app folder out of here. But either way, just download this here. Hit OK, and it's only a couple hundred megabytes or so, so it won't take all too long, but just wait for this to transfer. And now at this point, everything has transferred over, so what I'm going to do is double check this where my RIF file is, and check the game dump. So go inside here, and as you can see, this is all of the actual files itself for the game. So now you need to get this working properly, essentially create a working backup or a working dump of this for no NP DRM. So what you need to do is go here, take your RIF file, and I'm just going to cut it because there's no need to copy it out. Go into your app, and now you need to look for SCE underscore sys. Go into package, and you're going to see all these bin files. Paste it in here, but now you need to rename it. So you need to also change the extension, but you need to rename this to work.bin. And yes, and that's fine. So now that your license is a work.bin inside of that directory, that is technically all you need to do at this point. Now you can transfer this back over to your console or any other Vita that you have. 
and as long as you have no NP DRM enabled and running while you boot this game, it will work. If you transfer this over and you don't have no NP DRM enabled, this game will not work. So what I would also recommend is I would recommend just kind of keeping the file structure the same. So inside of here, like you have your game, make sure you have app, and then that's right there. So that way you could easily remember where that goes. And I'm just going to delete that folder because that is no longer needed. So I'm now going to go back over to the Vita and I'm going to remove the Undertale install data off of that. So I will show you how to install the game. All right, so we're now back on the Vita and this is where I have my Undertale set up. Now, you don't have to delete your bubble. I'm just showing you this so I can show and prove that this is going from a physical game cart to a local installation. So first of all, I'm going to remove my game cartridge. If you paid attention to the top right of the screen, the game cartridge is no longer showing. And I'll even try to start it as is. And it's telling me a Vita card is required to launch that application. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this here. Let's go ahead and delete. OK. So excellent. Now at this point, go back into Vita Shell. And let's work on getting our game cartridge transferred over. So from here, I also want to tell you all that if you are doing this with a digital title, you don't have to go through the deletion process. Because you have the game already installed and downloaded locally, all you would really need to do to get your digital title ready is go into UX0, find the game in app, find which game it is, go to SCE Sys, package, and then paste the license inside of this folder, but rename it to work.bin. So that's all you would need to do. So essentially you could just copy the license over renamed and then FTP over your game from your digital library that way. But since this is a physical cartridge, what we're going to be doing is now transferring this into our internal storage. So once you get to a point where you need to be, go ahead, initiate a file transfer and go back over to your PC. Once you're here, all you need to do is go into UX0, go to app, and as you can see, this is where all your title IDs should be. So on your game, go to where it is, go to app, find the title ID, and then just upload this over. This should take a few more minutes to transfer over, so just wait. Now with that all done, we're essentially at the final step here, so all I'm going to do is disconnect and go back over to my console. Back at your console, stop the transfer. Now when you're here, press the triangle button and press X on refresh live area. It's going to ask if you want to do this, say yes, and wait for it to finish refreshing. Now, as you can see, it's refreshed one item. So for however many games you transferred over, it should give you that same number. But, oh, and actually it even showed right here. If you look at UX0, we're now using a few hundred megabytes or at least a couple hundred megabytes as opposed to a few from before. But just close out of that, go back over, and as you can see, we have Undertale. If you look at the top right, there's no cartridge that's showing on screen. And if we try and boot up the game, Check it out, it's booting up with no errors. I'll even wait about a minute or so and wait for it to actually get in game. Just do the same test that we did prior. So as you can see, there we go, skip past that. And that's it. So we now have our game successfully dumped the license generated using no NP DRM, the license patched into the game, and the game transferred over. So we took the game cartridge successfully and transferred it over here digitally, and we also have it backed up to our computer as well. So that's all you really need to do. The process is going to be about the same for digital titles. I talked about the little discrepancies there. And for DLC and updates and such, uh, that's a bit more of a different process. I know I do not cover it here. This is more for the base game itself. However, if you want to look into that, I would more recommend looking into the guide specifically. It's not too terribly hard either. So if you could do the game, you could spend a few more steps and do your digital content like your downloadable content and your updates and such but again this works great for the base game as well as for game cartridges 
So that's all you really need to do at this point. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario is signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, a like would absolutely be appreciated. And if you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well, too.